Welcome collectors, Kyle the Collector here at the, the world's, world's largest, largest toy, toy museum. museum. Alright, out front they have the F.A.O. Schwartz teddy bear statue from Kansas City, where I'm from. So I grew up seeing this statue, so I'm glad it's got a good home. And you walk in, you got Zoltar. So instead of making a kid into an adult, it'll make an adult feel like a kid. And we've got some classic cars, but for me, I'm going to have to check out the Star Wars section first. Man, what a collection it is. So all different years, all different types of collectibles. I mean, this museum has everything covered, whether you like the vintage or the 90s, Power of the Force 2, uh, 3 and 3 quarter skill, or you like the larger skill. If you love vehicles, if you like micro machines, it's whatever. They have it all. Cards, the different scales of vehicles. I mean, just model kits. And of course, this is like the greatest vehicle ever. We got the AT-AT. We have some lightsabers, some land speeders, the Hoth base, uh, Rancor, Monster, just all sorts. And wouldn't be complete without a boba shrine so everybody's got a boba fett shrine nowadays so this museum is no different and it's very impressive to see what they have in these glass cases for sure so this will take you a while to get through just the star wars section i would say this is going to be their more popular sections of the museum because everybody really loves star wars no matter what age you are because it's been around forever and still very relevant to this day. But here's a Jabba and a bunch of salacious crumbs. And if you love Jabba, check out Mighty Jabba Collection on YouTube. Great channel. But yeah, I mean, just take a look at these glass cases and everything inside. It just goes on and on and on. And it's really not organized in any specific way. It's just all there. Now, out of my collection, my favorite item is the X-Wing Fighter from the mid-90s Power of the Force 2 line. I'm glad to see they have that displayed in the museum as well. But all sorts of different items. So, check it out. Not just figures, they have everything you can imagine. But moving on, we are going to kind of the comic book section of the museum. So that's going to be very important to me and... Turtles started out as a comic, so they're in there, and we have got some carded figures. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles and a Half Shell, Turtle Power! Alright, so you can see there's just a lot of green, alright, because Turtle Power indeed, man. You can see there's a lot of carded figures, so many they don't even have enough room to display them all properly, but... I love seeing all these loose figures because you can really get to see the figure out in the element. This reminds me of my toy shelf as a kid because I had tons of turtle stuff or Christmas because the carded figures, you know, that's what I saw in Christmas when I opened up the gift wrap. But moving on to another favorite comic book superhero of mine, Batman. Na 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 Batman. All right. So all sorts of Batman items from all different years, whether you like the 60s TV show. I, of course, love the 89 Batman movie a ton. So glad to see they have tons of that. The vehicles, I had that coupe. Nowadays, I got my Batmobile and I love that. So glad to see that. And I'd love to play this Batman game. That would probably be fun. Here's the Batmobile from the 60s. But yeah, no matter what your age, they got you covered with tons of Batman stuff. The animated series, uh, the more recent stuff even. Moving on though, we got Superman. Yeah, they have tons of Superman stuff as well. Can't have Batman without Superman. So here you can see uh, some of it's from the movies just all different types of items and I've never seen a collection like this so impressive the only thing that comes close is my friend Billy he has an amazing collection of all Superman Batman stuff so moving on 
from DC to Marvel, we got my main man, Spidey. So Spider-Man's my favorite for sure. So glad to see they gave a good section to him. I love, you know, the first movie and then the more recent movies. So glad to see Spider-Man going just as strong now as he ever was. And uh, this is just amazing. Amazing to me to see all that Spider-Man stuff in one location. And they got Captain America. Of course, they got the Hulk. And really popular back in the day were the lunchboxes. Now, let's move to something that's more than meets the eye. So we got some Transformers stuff. It's also mixed in with other Japanese robot stuff. So it wasn't a huge section, but pretty good. And if you like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, definitely got some of that so but for me kind of save the best for last this masters of the universe collection they have is mind blowing oh man this is crazy to see all this together in one spot i mean it's got like everything jam-packed uh we've got so many shelves and displays it's gonna take a while to check it all out so uh, here we got He-Man on Battle Cat, looking tough. Uh, we've got the play sets. So we got Snake Mountain. Here's the inside of Castle Grayskull. And uh-oh, looks like the bad guy's infiltrated. Oh, Skeletor took over. And Beast Man just chilling in a recliner. And here's my favorite vehicle, Rotom, with his evil eyes. And then we got some Happy Meal figures, like the Super Mario ones for Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, here's a Super Mario telephone. So these are all oddities that I know NES Addict loves very much. Check out his channel as well. But yeah, here we have a lot of vintage video game items. Now if you love wrestling, they've got you covered. They have some WWF stuff like Hulk and all that. Brother man. And uh, I wasn't aware, but we've got, I guess, He-Man and like Prince Adam. Poor wrestlers, who knew? We've got some mask items from back in the day. All those vehicles are really cool. Trolls. Man, my daughter loves that new troll movies. So it's kind of cool to see the history of trolls in one spot as well. But when I stumbled upon the Flintstone section, I saw that Pebbles kind of reminded me of my little baby daughter. I'd say there's a lot of resemblance there, for sure. And there's a gift shop, and the most items that they have in the gift shop are going to be Hot Wheels. So, great selection of those. So, I know my best friend Andrew would love to see all those Hot Wheels in person. He collects a lot of those. But this is an amazing museum complex right there in southern Missouri, almost in northern Arkansas, in Branson. So, it's right there on the main highway near Whitewater. They're open almost every day. You can check them out on Facebook. You can call them up. The owner is extremely friendly. 